Hello everybody, what's going on? It's Lemon King back here for another Minecraft series. <clears throat> and we're going to be playing Simburbia. The most awesome Minecraft type of like Sims playthrough map. Uh, if you don't know what Simburbia is, you might want to go check out Captain Sparkle's videos. But basically, you get money and you create industrial, residential, and commercial land plots. And you make more money, and then you upgrade your city until the highest point. So that's what we're going to be playing in this brand new series. It's The map's sort of new, but let's jump into it. Um, text wall. Welcome to Samaria, the city simulator for Minecraft. While this map does not have long-term goals, there is no ending, and it is possible to fail so bad that you can't progress. So it's important that you follow and read all instructions given. To begin, find the secret button. Let me know if you do... Let me know if you do or if you make an LP. Let me know how let me know how you do or if you make an LP tweet Jigabob. Important technical information, uh video link. So I'm gonna watch this video and we'll be right back. Alright guys, and we're back. Watch the video. Um basically this map has sixty thousand command blocks. So at some points this map may be laggy, and if it is, I'll just restart Minecraft and hopefully that'll fix it. So that's basically all I said. By the way, your city is a very interesting place. Be sure to look around, find the shops, see who knows what you'll find. So there's a secret button. Difficulty easy. It's locked. Slash mode two. Mobs on, clouds off. View distance been working. You must have view distance at least ten or else the game won't work. If the button does not work, make sure command blocks are enabled. Boom. All right, so here we are. What is where you press start? Make sure you There's the space. So this is to the main menu, which is right here. Um, teleport to the sky platform. Get a town map and get a remote control. Okay. While we begin. Text everywhere. Read the text. At everything at the top and bottom. Welcome to Simburbia. This whole place is where your city will be. Mercy. <laughs> to start, though, you need a power to go to the main menu of the town hall and get a bulldoze token so you can make some space where the power plant will go. Right. Main menu. Ever get stuck? Go to help class 101. Every city comes with a plot that's already powered by natural spring. Once you have bulldozed this plot, come back and come back for a power plant token. Power plants are the lifeblood of the city. You cannot build on a plot without power. If a disaster occurs and the plot becomes unpowered, it will be abandoned. Hmm. Let's go back to the town hall. Alright, so we have to bulldoze a plot, which I'm assuming that's a custom project. Uh, which one do we have to bulldoze this? Here we go, what do we want to bulldoze? What are we bulldozing? Bulldoze this natural spring so we can build a power plant. Bulldoze 
Building and bulldozing is done by buying tokens and placing the tokens into dispensers near the power indicator behind these signs. This is a power indicator. It tells you whether a plot has power. If a plot has no power, it will be abandoned. You also can't build an unpowered plot. Boom! Let's build a power plant. Hey, we got a little water power plant. Cool. Jigron Hydro Station. A little mini failure. So is that all we do from this? So it opens up more plots. Okay. Day one, month one, year twenty fourteen. <laughs> Residential plots bring people to our city. The higher the land value, the more rent they produce, and the higher your city's population. Okay. So I'm assuming he wants me to go put a residential zoning plot in somewhere over here. So why don't we fire it around the outside area here? Back in here. Hmm. Hey, we got some town stuff. Yay. Hello. Hey. Low class resident. Hmm. Yeah, these houses are a little low class. But... Don't worry. Place your first resident trying to place near the power plant and land value will be lowered. Oh. Ooh. Placing plots next to each other yield land value characters. If you place a commercial plot next to a residential plot, they both benefit so their values go up in restructuring their buildings. Both commercial and residential zones benefit from being next to each other. Okay, so that means I throw a commercial one in here somewhere. Which I guess I'll throw back in here. Oop, that's not gonna work, is it? <laughs> yeah. Just forgot that's not gonna work. Beep. <laughs> Yay! The Shaft Recording Studio. Welcome to episode 3, or 738 of The Shaft. Welcome back to our next guest, Jigabob. It's been 30 years since you came on last time. Wow, that's a lot of time. Yeah, we got all kinds of stuff in here. She has a cigar shop. Oh, a giant cigar. Oh, that's going to be, yes. Goodies. Hello there, little one. Would you like some candy? Yeah, that guy looks a little sketchy. looks like meth in there. So I don't know about that. Citrus. Ketchup and mustard designs. <laughs> and the house has got a little bit more value to them, I guess. We got a giant cigar, yeah. That's gonna taste good. Industrial. Every city needs industry. Unfortunately, industry has negative effect on other plots type. So I just suggest you keep them away from the other. Okay, so. Put the industrial out in here. Once your last plot is placed, come to the main menu. It's time to begin the flow of time. Choose your game speed. You can change it at any time. Industrial plant. Six degrees spotlights. 
high pixel mob systems. Hmm. Okay, looking good. So it's gonna be interesting to see how I can uh, keep this all separated from each other. But uh, let's see how we're gonna lay this out. Let's go turtle speed. On the 30th of the month, you'll get income from your residence. Check the date in the front of town hall above the game speed settings. I won't be holding your hand from now on. Go build your city. Oh, okay. So I guess we should get some more residential in here, I, I'd assume. <laughs> some more people. So I'm going to watch because the industry is going to affect the nearby residents. So I might want to keep some industry and residence separated. Hey! You got some nice houses here, don't you? Nice little lump out here. So we only have 35k left. And at the 30th of each month, we'll get our income. It's only day three. Ah, yep, that's. that's we're gonna need that. But. <laughs> We're going to speed things up. Cheetah speed. Hmm. Some more things to do. So let's wait until this all speeds up through. And then we can move on to the next plot. 